Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we're down in Bally Britis in County Leash with the company Ecovolve to look at their electric tipping dumpers. So let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by EasyGo, Ireland's largest EV charging network. With their fleet management solution, employees can charge their cars and vans at home, at work, or on the public charging network where there are more than 1,200 charge points. With the EasyGo fleet solution, a fleet manager can ensure vehicles are charged on a night rate electricity and the fleet drivers can travel across Ireland and access the public charging network. Just like with fuel cards, fleet managers can now manage all electric charging costs in a single monthly bill. So as mentioned, we're down here in Ballybritis in County Leash at Ecovolve and we are here to test out the three electric dumpers that founder Sean Breen has developed, manufactured, engineered um, and just look at the different capacities that we have here. So this is a fully electric dumper. Traditionally, you would have known them as either electric wheelbarrows, but this is a high tip dumper, as you can see here. They can go all the way up and you can add the chute to it as well. So currently have three models, the 800, which is this person on this one on the left, then you've got the 1000 and the 1500, and that's all to do, the naming structure is to do with the weight capacity. So this can uh, has a w rating, a max of 800. There is redundancy built in there, but uh, recommended 800 kilograms. That guy in the middle there has a thousand, so a metric ton, and that one has the added chute on it as well. So if you had liquid, so like uh, concrete, etc., and then the one on the right hand side uh, is 1500. So, but you can see the width of the 800 there and how it, it would be easy for getting in and out of doors uh, on a site. So this could be used for demolition or for construction or also uh, if you've got existing um, buildings that it has to get in around or through. So there are the three and there are the three. Some of the different positions but I'm going to be going around them and, and talking about it but also understanding how um, taking it for a drive as well. Got some notes I need to pick up. On a busy side of the road here. What we're going to do is run around the 1500 just because it is uh, the one that's uh, on the ground and we can have a look into it. Um, uh, so they're high tip dumpers is the actual specification or what they're actually called. So the 1500 can take 575 litres uh, of contents levelled. Heaped it can take up to 800 and then can take a water level of 460 and then dependent on your um, whatever one you go for. I'm going to put the spec sheet up on the screen uh, later on so you can actually uh, see the different um, breakdown on it. Let's run around the different features uh, of the Ecovolve ED1500. Uh, this color, this luminous green color was chosen so it can be easily spotted on site. First of all, we'll start off with the tires. So the tires are solid tires and they're super elastic so they don't leave marks on the ground and they can also fit them in white. So you've got, if you've got clean rooms that you're doing some construction in or you're manufacturing or renovating, they can uh, fit it so that it has that as well. Moving around to the front, you can see that this has, like the 800 and the 1000, has a wider um, bucket on it. You can see at the bottom here, you have your lights but you also have your beacons as well and I'll turn them on now in a second. So you can see what that looks like, just to give a warning as to uh, that you're around. It also has an audible beep as well. There is your chalk. Uh, and this is just another safety measure. Now, the, because it has an electric motor, uh, it's in a locked position once there's no electricity uh, going to the actual motor itself. But just for safety, they have this chalk built in, so you can pop it out. And if it was on this hill here, what you can do is have it underneath the wheel there, just as an extra precaution if you're on site and you have that health and safety. But it's always on the actual vehicle itself. What I like about it is, you can see here as well, speaking about everything being on the vehicle, you can see this tube here, that's the actual user manual. And so, if you have somebody coming on site new, Everything's in there that that person needs to understand how to utilize it. You've got your charging indicators here. If there's a fault, it's red. If it's flashing amber, and if it's flashing green, and then uh, the different levels 
so it's all built in there you've got your beacon on the side what Sean has done the founder he has added in stuff that he knows that the uh, the site because Sean has a background in demolition and concrete boring so for example you've got this uh, crane hook and so when a crane lifts this up might be lifting this unit up onto an actual building site or on top of a roof but that's exactly centered so a center of gravity on that as well and you also have tie-off points built into the frame you can see down here and so that's for chains to tie off so this is where the the power comes from it's got that third wheel at the back uh, and that has it's an all motor wheel etc all built into one that comes in from italy uh, you've got more light up there and then you've got the stand but the stand can be put up so if you don't want to stand on it you can pop it up and you can walk behind it you also have these operator let's bring them down it's a pull out and so you can walk behind it so you've got your big emergency stop button you've got the body press button so if you get if something comes up behind you and pushes the operator in when he she or they push against that it stops the electric motor but also pushes it forward big horn on it you've got your dead man's handle front and rear you've got your on offs uh, and what speed you're going at so you've got your uh, rabbit or hare and this then is the uh, the swing arm you've got your power on off you've got your lights on off and then you've got the actual body tipper here and i'll run through that once i go through it i want to turn it on it goes down there very tight unit well built uh, and what you have here as well then you've got your charging port so depending on the market that you're selling into it'll depend on how the, the so this is the commando plug for the european market uh, and it has a smart charging system inside it so whether it's 110 all the way up to 240 it understands what the power is coming in so it uh, it adjusts the battery management on it uh, or the charging capability of it as well you got your second tie-up point there for your crane at the side there so yeah really really good and it's the exact same then for a thousand obviously just a slightly smaller body now the difference between the thousand and the 1500 is the 1500 has three wheel drive whereas the thousand has a uh, single wheel drive which is the rear one and the uh, 800 has the um, single wheel drive as well some of the features of the ED800, 1000 and 1500 so depending on the model you can have up to 12 hours run time we talked about the smart charging already it's high tip and you can see that up here and the way that it works is it can tip in so you can see where the wheels end and it can tip into containers of lots of different heights uh, the power pack that they're using is an AGM power pack and that's built into where that battery symbol is there um, they've worked out that it's probably going to help remove five to six people on a site the fact that it's able to move that level of um, weight be that liquid or solid rubble in or new concrete out sorry new concrete in or rubble out um, the, so a lot of higher companies go for these uh, and because they're electric that's what's all been wanted now on construction sites also in tunneling in white in clean rooms etc so what they use internally then is they use a Curtis instrument systems that what the programming that they're using internally um, the smart charging is a company called Delta Q uh, the gearbox and the drivetrain that we were talking about earlier on is Borgji from Italy so the it's all made from steel so it's 355 and 255 and so you can see the thickness and the quality you know what i mean like rugged stuff made for hire made for construction probably one fault with it is that you wouldn't be able to utilize it for landscaping just because it is so heavy uh, and it's not on tracks it's on tires instead you've got dexter axle technologies and pb 
machine tech hydraulic ram systems and you can see that on this raised one here so you can see all the so this is the thousand so when you think about that can lift up 1000 kilograms a metric ton and then tip it forward so the the, the tolerances and the strength and you can see there maintenance wise there is a number of grease nipples that have to be greased once a month and then you just have to make sure that you charge and discharge it uh, on a monthly basis just to make to keep that battery health going but otherwise that's it literally greasing the nipples and charging and discharging it really really good all the machines are CE certified as I mentioned about the super elastic no marking tires and the good thing about this as well is that it fits in a commercial lift so you'll see those lifts that they use on building sites uh, to get people up and down and but this will also fit into it as well so we talked enough about the specifications let's have a spin around the yard we'll probably go with the I might go with the thousand with the shoot on it see how we get on if you're transitioning your commercial fleet be that the cars the vans the commercial vehicles even the dumpers to electric you can get a e-fuel card from easygo by clicking the link in the screen or in the description so with that step you'll see it'll only activate when there's somebody actually standing on it so there's a sensor there and you can see that sensor down here so that will only go in fast mode when that sensor is engaged and you've got these two cushion pads either side so now that i'm on it you turn it and hold it for three seconds and what happens is the actual mechanism itself um, will find center and then depending on where you turn it you can hear it turn there it's a bit like robocop very cool um, and so it's going to find its own way. It's going to find its center first of all. So get on. And then with that dead man's handle down, to, down to, you can just push forward. I'll actually bring the other camera with me so you can see it. So once you step up, you can engage the higher speed if you want, but you've got this dead man's handle here. You've got that emergency brake, you've got the regular horn, and then you've got whether it's fast or slow, and then whether you want the lights on or not. And let's turn on all the lights so you can see what's happening around. So you've got, this is for if it's in dark areas, and then you also have your beacons either side. And you've got your beacons and your lights down the front as well. But what we're gonna do, and so that's reverse and then forward is up so it's a really good turn and circle so this is in fast mode at the moment well you can see why those barriers are either side of it as well so once i step off two hands derek so this one has the attachment. That's got the beep. Good brakes in it as well. Nice and steady. Hopefully it's not too jumpy on the... Uh... So because the steering's at the rear, you have to turn it. It's a bit of getting used to, it's like a, like a boat in essence. But you can because it's got so you can lock it all the way and then turn on itself really good and then back that's fast mode and then slow mode that will be walking space so if i get off it put up the put these down now I can walk behind it, but when I release it, push forward, turn with it. Like that's me moving a ton worth of material, either onto site or off to site. Let's see what it's like to tip it. So you talked about when I was standing on the pad, you can see how it's up when it's not being stood on, but then with my weight. So with the raising, it's all done on this joystick here. So the actual unit itself is 
the turning and the forward and reverse is done through the handlebars. So they're done on the, so we can do full lock and then turn on itself. Like, think of the maneuverability for this. You can literally spin on itself. Anyway, you can hear it catching up with itself then afterwards. So we want to go all the way up. I'm hoping this is in frame now. And then you want to tip forward. And that everything down into the weather, whatever you're going into. And then down. Feature I want to cover is this emergency stop for the person that's driving. So it is, that's reverse. So what will happen is I have the emergency stop button here, but if I'm in reverse and something pushes against me in the back, what will happen is it will stop and the actual unit will creep forward slightly. So with that button forward, back, if I hit something, it won't allow me to go back anymore. So it's a nice way to, just to make sure that there's no, and it might not even be that you've got this frame into it. It may mean that you have um, the, the side rails down. You're going to reverse, that's forward, and then something stops you, it breaks it. Really good. As mentioned at the start, I was going to put the specs up on the screen. So you have the capacity, drive, transmission, hydraulic and electric systems, drive motor and noise information for the three different models there on the screen. And then you also have the dimensions of each of the three models. So you can pause and have a look through and see the differences between the three of them. You can contact EasyGo and get your fleet driver set up in an e-few card by clicking the link on the screen or in the description. That's my look around the ED series of electric dumpers from EcoVol. Great to see an Irish company doing so well in this space. Great to see the founder, Sean, finding that niche or niche, as you'd say in the United States, and really building a quality product and leading the market with it. Lots more coming. Keep an eye out. Make sure you hit the notification bell. I'll be back down again here, hopefully this year. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a like. And also remember, if you think an EV is for you, even if it's an electric dumper, leave it to me and I'll review. Thanks so much for watching.